Hey guys, it's me, Clippers Games here, and welcome to The Walking Dead, Episode 2, Part 3, with your favorite YouTube gamer, Clippers Games here. In the last part, um, we came to the farm, we had a little exploring, um, Mark got shot by an arrow from an ambush, which was horrible, I really hated that. And, well that happened, but we also come in time and got to that place, but we're going to continue with the left off in the last episode. We're heading to the camp that, um... Whatever is set, John Brother. Yeah, so I guess. Okay. Let's watch. This is where we left off. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Goodness. Here. I haven't played one of these games in a while, so I'm like not really oh, used shit. to it. You found it. Or I haven't recorded any. Let's see here. Oh, there's the camp. Doesn't look like anyone. Okay, I gotta sneak up to the camp. Alright, let's see here. God, I don't wanna die. Please don't let me die. You see anybody? No, I don't see anyone. Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Goodness gracious, oh my god. <laughs> Nobody there. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. Uh, That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Probably true. Okay. Let's see here. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Hmm. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Examine the save lots. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. <laughs> oh my god. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. What's over here? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's take over here. Nothing. Empty. Is there anything? What is that? It's a video camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. <laughs> what else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. He seemed pretty suspicious. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular <laughs> Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Okay. Look at that crap pot. Just water. Hmm. Let me look around. God, I'm so nervous right now. Is someone gonna jump out at me and scare me? I have played this game before, but Looks I don't like remember who I. To be here a while. Yeah. Okay, let's kind of tent for ourselves. Oh, 
What is that? <gasps> That's Clementine's hat. Don't you fucking move. Oh my god. Shit. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Oh, maybe you can hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. The fuck I did. That's them other people. Big's good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String him up on that tree. Oh my god. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh, oh my god. You crap. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It still isn't right. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? Yeah. If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods. Okay, let's stay home with them. So yeah, we head back. Once All right. they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. <sighs> Something is up with them. Goodness gracious, though. <laughs> Let's do the gameplay. We're back at the St. John Barry. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! I just Brenda. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh my god. Well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Hmm. We all yeah. <laughs> we'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cows. That woman is a lifesaver. Alright. 
I'm gonna just see what left of um, Kenny and L Lily. Hi Clementine. I gotta show you, I gotta give you your hat back. Okay. We're gonna go to Lily first. Uh, see what the crap was going on. Uh, over here and... I have no idea what the crap that was. Hi Larry. Hi Lily. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She Janice. was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Hmm. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious, let's see. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So, so don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Poor Lily, I know. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people are <laughs> creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Okay. Let's head out to the barn. Alright. And there's Clementine. It's a cow. <laughs> it's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa! Patrick <laughs> says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. <laughs> yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. 
Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. <laughs> we met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Alright, let's see here. Hi, Doc. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. <laughs> wow, oh my god. What the heck is this thing? Oh, they don't mind your hair dry in the background. My you sister is getting ready to go. Hi, Kenny. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. <laughs> I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? <laughs> Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hmm. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? <laughs> no. Why would you say that? Well, you're... <laughs> urban? Oh my god. You are not saying what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. So Sorry. Oh my god. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow, Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help <laughs> you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. Farm can be a dangerous place. How can it be dangerous? You know, bandits and all. So oh. About your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, we probably have to go out. I think I know. Distract and need to get him out of the barn. Okay. I think I know how to do this. I went the first time it took me forever to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> what the crap? So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Oh my god. Larry, get out of here. Um, I'm looking at this toolbox. Oh, there's something we can use. Multi tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Yeah, borrow. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. That's why I need the multi tool. There you go. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. And turn power it off. Power switch. Power switch. I want to stop saying power switch and just turn it off. There, that 
to do it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. That's how Clay and Lee do it. There's a baby in there. Careful, don't spook her. <laughs> I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little, little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. <laughs> well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Alright. Let's tell Kenny real quick. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Alright, let's try. Oh god, dinner time! I think we're going to go ahead and end this part here at The Walking Dead. Don't forget to press the like button for more. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel of Clay Plays Games and Clay Plays IRL. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Go ahead and share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow me at tw Twitter at Clay Games and on Instagram at Clay Plays Games. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next episode or part of The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 2. Bye guys.